And this is another Jerry Stackhouse moment. <laughs> Y'all remember him fighting Allen Iverson? And practice. Now this is back when Jerry Stackhouse was like the main star of the team. They were the the backcourt that was supposed to be the best that was supposed to grow the foundation of the Philadelphia 76ers. But as Allen Iverson came into the league his rookie year, this was not for the last long. Because Jerry Stackhouse, <laughs> like I said in the previous video, Jerry Stackhouse is not made that kind of way. You can't disrespect him and think it's going to fly. See, what happened was this. You know, a lot of people don't even know what happened in the practice. And this happened before practice. A lot of people don't know. It was just a, continue, a continuation from what had happened during a, a shoot-around in a game. I think they played against Boston. And it was in the shoot-around. And it, it got physical. In the shoot-around. And they had an argument. And Allen Iverson is not used to backing down to nobody. Even though he's small, he don't back down. Now, I'm not saying Allen Iverson knows how to fight and can whoop people's you-know-what. But he's not going to back down from a challenge or a fight. That's one thing. Jerry Stackhouse is the same way. But Jerry Stackhouse will whoop your ass. <laughs> That's the difference. And people don't understand that for some reason. Like, I guess it's certain people that have what they call a governor. Like, they, they put borders on themselves to say, I'm not going to cross this line. I'm going to yell. I'm going to do everything in the world. But this is as far as I go. Jerry Stackhouse don't have any borders or no governors on himself. Once he gets hot, he just go. And when it reaches to a certain state, he just gonna go. His reserve was not saying nothing. That's how he dealt with it. That was his border when he ain't talking. Now when you got him talking, Something to happen. Now, Jerry Stackhouse was about to fight him after the shoot around. And the whole argument was about like him taking, like Iverson was taking too many shots and he trying to be the two guard. And then he trying to tell Jerry Stackhouse what he need to be doing. And he was like, look, man, I, I, how long you been in the league? <laughs> Don't tell me what I need to be doing. I know where I'm supposed to be. You trying to be in my spot. Are you the point or are you the two? You ain't the off guard. So, you know, when that was when that was uh, going around, he was like, you trying to, you run into my spot. He was like, that's where I'm supposed to be. You supposed to be over here. So, big argument about who who this and who that and who team it is and and obviously you know he's just gonna keep talking. It was like yeah, keep talking, keep talking. You you gonna be in Cleveland? <laughs> keep talking, keep talking, <laughs> keep talking. Right, who you think they who you think the, they want? They brought me in here because they don't want you. You getting out of here. So all this talk is going on in the locker room. And Stack was quiet. And then Stack said something to hurt Allen Iverson's feelings. And, and was like, do it. Do it. And he told him, he's like, if you come over here and you put your hands on me, it's going to be the last time you put your hands on somebody. So I'm just letting you know. So Alan Iverson is going, throwing a scene. What? Is that a threat? 
You threatening me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. So Jerry Stackhouse hasn't said another word. He's not moving. He's standing there calm and everybody in between him. Come on, come on, no, no, come on, man. And uh, Scott Williams grabbing him. Man, we, we brothers, man. We brothers. We brothers. And then the press heard about it. So the press is all waiting outside before they all can come in the uh, locker room. And they ask people about it. Like, what happened? I heard you guys about the fight. Hey, man, nothing, nothing. Because they can hear the screaming on the outside. And Jerry Stackhouse is like, well, it was a story of a man who didn't want to fight versus a man who don't know how to fight. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. And that was his only quote on the, on the whole comment on the entire fight. Or the whole thing that just transpired. But it was clear that th these two weren't going to coexist. So somebody had to be moved. And we all know where they went. <laughs> it became Iverson's team. Stack had to go. That was all to it. It was AI's team. And if you wasn't going to follow AI. We sorry Jerry. We're going to have to deal you. But Jerry Stackhouse, salute <laughs> to one of the realest dudes in the game who throw down at the drop of a hand. He's a good guy to have on your side. All right, Jerry.